Wednesday. Oh. Stay for it. What? Nothing. Sierra asked One, suspected shoplifter, Malik's Wine Mart, corner of Braham's Close. 351 received. Over. The shoplifter. That's right. I'll solve this. I'm going to shoot out of a shop window. It's very tasty. I like it. I like it. Yes, all right. Don't rub it in. No, it's it's a very, very nice <laughs> outfit. It's very smart. <laughs> very becoming, Michael. <laughs> See, yeah. any news on that catering company fraud? Yeah, I'm just checking it now. Michael, I thought you were supposed to be up in court this afternoon. Yeah, it's uh, it's been put back. What, again? Yeah, they're waiting for psychiatric reports. It could be a fortnight. Right. Well, uh, give Ted a hand with these printouts then. All right, go. By the way. Yeah? Nothing. <laughs> 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 You found a station about a shoplifter, is that right? Yes, this is true. My daughter says she saw this woman take a bottle of oh, brandy no. and these cigarettes. No, I Pardon. did not take anything. But my daughter saw you. And you have no receipt for the goods. Where is the receipt? I did not take anything. This man has made a mistake. Do you understand? I am not a thief. All right, calm down. But when I stopped you outside, you had no receipt. Where is your receipt? I you am cannot take goods without paying for them. What are you saying about me? I haven't done anything. Tell but him to stop it. Look, will you calm down and stop interrupting? Yeah. Why don't we all calm down? Hey. Right then. What's your name, please? Mavis D'Souza. Mrs. Mavis D'Souza. I am innocent until proven guilty. This man is making a mistake. I want justice. Well, can we bring your daughter in here, Mr. Malik? Maybe she can clarify. No, no, she must stay by the till. You say your daughter saw her take the brandy and cigarettes? Yes, and she put them... No, in no, bag. I didn't. I didn't put anything in my bag. Look! I am going to go outside and talk to Mr. Malik's daughter. You calm down, Mrs. D'Souza. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Right, Mrs. D'Souza. I'd just like to clarify. When the cigarettes and brandy came where were they? I was in the shop. You were in the shop. So where were they when you were out? They were in the counter. On the ground? Yes. What do you mean they were on the ground? You took them the counter and put them in my bag. Hey, just, just, just a your... minute. Just a minute. Mate. You were trying to tell me that it was magic with the cigarettes and brandy in your bag. Yes, you did. That's what you're saying? Yes. Thanks. Thanks. 
Sierra Oscar from 351. Sierra Oscar from 351. Armed robbery. Malik's Wine Mart. Request an ambulance over. Sounds like your mob with the souped up motor, Ted, according to what Haynes says. Yes, it does. Do you reckon it could be the same firm that did those two post offices? Could be. It's got the same SP. Two going tooled up while stealing masses outside on the starter's orders. I thought your snout had some information about that crowd, Jim. Oh? Well, nothing definite, Gov. Well, get on to it. What now? We are needing an address. Right. Ted. Yeah? I want this lot off the streets before they kill someone. Now, you and Michael, go down to that wine shop and find out everything you can on those three before the dust settles. You've got to help me. My friend's in trouble. Where? Quickly, before it's too late. You've got to stop him. I think he means it this time. All right, just calm down. Now, look, where is your friend? What's the matter with him? He's going to kill himself. He's locked himself in the toilet of Spiros and he won't come out. Where's that? Over there. It's a club. Spiros. That's a club? Yes. Please, you've got to stop him. OK, go on to it. Uh, yes, officer, this is my club. I'm oh, Theo This gentleman has reason to believe that his friend is in some kind of trouble inside. Oh, look, officer, I wouldn't take too much notice of Clyde. He's a little highly strung. You know, you know what these people are like. No, sir, I'm afraid I don't. Now, if you'd like to stand aside, then I'm a fellow officer and I can see for ourselves. Oh, officer, this is a big misunderstanding. Eh? It's just a lover's tiff or something. Right, Ken, would you like to call in the address of this establishment and request some backup? And you can tell them that a Mr. Theo... I'm sorry, I didn't get your second name. Theo. Mr. Theo Spiro is obstructing two police officers in the course of their duty. Uh, officer, I, 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 that won't be necessary, huh? Please, come in. Thank you. What's the matter? This is not your scene, is it? Eh? Never mind. In my guest. Here, Ken, put it size 12. Right, sir. You're going to come out of there? What for? You're under arrest for having an offensive weapon. I don't know, man. Okay, this is very risky, you know? Okay, if somebody susses me out, I could get damaged. Listen, Leroy. Two of our blokes were just shot at. Yeah, man, I know that. Now, just give me an address. We know they're operating in this area. No, I, I don't know, man, because, I mean... Leroy! There's this flat. I mean, I don't even know if these are the guys you're looking for. I mean, it could be that it's different people, you know what I'm saying? The address, Leroy? I dropped these three blocks up onto the cab. Two white guys and one black guy. But I mean, like, they might be different people, you know what I'm saying? The address. Well, one of them was playing around with something in the back of the cab. They'd be drinking, you know? And I just glanced up in the mirror. I think it was a shooter. Yeah, man, that's what it was. It was a shooter. But you see what I'm saying? These are dangerous people, you know? Leroy! I'm not even sure of the exact address. I know it's over on that estate by the hospital. Yeah, that's right. Um, number... Of, on the second floor. Number 35 or 36. Drive yourself, Leroy. What happened, Haynes? Well, there was two of them in the shop. One had a handgun. This was caused by a short barrel pump gun. Good God. How many did they get away with? Well, Mr. Mallet reckons about 600 quid. Look at the damage. Look at the waste. A lot more damage if somebody was hit with that shot. You all right, Haynes? Yeah. yeah. 
it's got sprayed a bit, that's all. Yeah, Ramsey, Mike. you okay? Yeah, it's just a scratch, nothing to worry about. Mike, go and check the streets. What are you going to do about this? Thank you, man. What are you going to do about this? It's not possible for honest people to go about their daily business without, without this. These people are crazy. They are crazy. Yeah, well, all right, Mr. Malik, we will do our best to try and find them pains. In the meantime, if you could uh, clear up some of the glass, but don't let him touch anything else, all right? All right, Mr. Malik, let's go and find a broom, yeah? This is for the soccer. Ted. Now let's hope we can find the firearm at this fire from. Jim's just coming over the radio. He's got an address for us on the Drummond estate. Right, let's get going. CID. Ramsey? Yeah, we went and got ourselves yeah, shot. Yeah, right, I know all about it. What happened to your shoplifter, by the way? Look, Mum, I don't think... Look, when the gun was fired, there was a certain amount of confusion. And, uh, Haynes must have let her slip away. Never mind, just put it in your report, Peter. Reg? Oh, yes, Mum. Have you seen Alec Peters anywhere? Uh, yeah, I think he's in the charge room with that and Melvin. Thanks. You are being charged with being in possession of a prohibited weapon, namely one spring-loaded knife. I didn't know this was gonna happen. I thought you were gonna help him. Don, he's not, he's not a criminal, you know. Tell that to the people who get striped by these things. You have been charged under Section 139 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988. You do not have to reply to these charges, but if you do, anything you say... You can't do nothing to me! Donkey, hold him! I've got him. You got it? Yes, I've got him. Don't make things worse. There's our boy. Now, Jimmy, you stick close to him, but don't let him see you. I want him to lead us to his two pals. Michael and I will follow on on the motor. Come on, Ted. And, Jimmy, be careful. Don't let him open that bag. the cemetery. The only way out is to the canal. To a left, there's a bridge over to the towpath.
tell you. Who are you? You know who I am. I'm a police officer. You want to speak to me in connection about, about a number of armed robberies? Where's the bag? It's in the water. Sierra Oscar from Sierra Oscar 5. Ken hit him with his truncheon. And he's a big bloke too, he's about six foot. Melvin, you're joking. Well, you know what they say, don't you? What? The meek shall inherit. <laughs> Not now, Craig. Ted Roach is bringing in a suspect from the Malik Wine Shop raid. Now they'll be here any second. Either of you two get a good look at the fellas? I saw them up close, sir. I could identify them both. What about the driver? No, sir. By the time I got outside, the car was turning the corner and I could just... Yeah, all right, Hank. Tell me. Off you come. You better stick with me till they bring the fella in. Good work. Thank you, sir. Out! Come on. Come on, Jim. Get him out. All right. Yeah, all right. Get the bag. Yeah, all right. Come on. Take it easy, will you? Die no, yourself! Just get off! Now get in there and stop! Poor oh, black pig. What the hell happened to you? Don't even ask. Sit down. Don't get burnt, sir. All right. Sit down. What about this? Bring it in here. Let's see what Brad has been carrying. Look, what is this? Take the cuffs off. You're hurting me arm. Sit down and shut up. I want to see a brief. I know my rights. Come on, man. Take the cuffs off. I've been well stitched up here. What's going on here? Recognise him? Yes, sir. Well, I saw this man and an accomplice at Malik's Wine Mart. They were both armed and in the process of committing a robbery. Thank you, Ramsey. Well? Not saying nothing. Give me that bag. That's it. What were you going to do? Start your own war? I'm not saying nothing. He fished that out of the canal. He can't stick this on me. I've never seen that bag before in my life. Right? All this stuff will be sent down to Forensic to be dusted for fingerprints. And I'm sure we'll come up with a matching pair. Then, we'll get a warrant to search your address. And it will be searched with a fine tooth comb. And should we find anything that could connect you with the attempted murder of two of my constables, the full weight of the law will descend upon you. And all that will be left is a greasy little stain. Got anything to say now? Three five one calling Sierra Oscar. Sierra Oscar, go ahead. Three five one. Sierra Oscar from three five one. Urgent message: Two suspects involved in arm raid earlier today in Two Tone Granada, Sinclair Drive, heading east. Index number: Papa Yankee Uniform two nine six. Miami pursuit over. Received. Hold on. Open channel.
Yes, Sierra Oscar. Are you all right, 351? Yes, Sierra Oscar. Request Van to take away two suspects wanted in connection with armed raid earlier today. Junction of Drayton Market and Bonham Estate. Need any help, mister? Received. Over 351. The van's on its way. That's all right, son. I think I can handle it. <laughs> 